Drawing is something that is like a passionate thing to me. I find a lot of comfort in it when I felt lonely or upset. When I start shading, I get into it. It was just a happy accident that, that I could actually make a career out of it. Hi, I'm Olivia Farina. Hi, my name is Nicole Turco. My name is Shannon. And my name is uh, Danny. I'm a student from Newdorf High School. I'm a freshman in Newdorf High School. I am a sophomore at Newdorf High School. And I'm an artist. And I'm an artist. And I'm an artist. Drawing is something that is like a passionate thing to me. Like, I just don't know how to describe it. It just, you know, makes me feel calm whenever I'm nervous and I can just be free and do whatever I can. I like to draw like wide eyes and shading just makes me, like, I love shading. I have a bunch of colored pencils. I love my colored pencils. I have like very expensive colored pencils. <laughs> Sometimes I draw little fan arts here and there and other times I mostly draw my own characters for like stories I really want to create for like kids, adults, teenagers, all that kind of things. I really want to become an animator when I'm an adult. There is one animator, I forgot her name, but she did the animation for Puella Magi Madoka Magica and I absolutely loved that anime and it's just that sweet, innocent, cute little style that sort of disguised the sort of darkness that was behind that little anime and I always wanted to do that because, you know, I like dark things. During ninth grade I found out I was moving to Florida and I was very upset about it so I had escaped to art. I got my sketchbook, my graphic pencils, my graphite, and I started drawing away. New school, new state, new people, I couldn't adjust. I started drawing and it helped me cope a lot with the loneliness, a lot from the being upset. <laughs> Eventually I came back where I continued my art. Mr. Valerio makes me feel like a great artist. Ever since the first day of school, I always wanted to show him my drawings, like how I shaded everything. I could just ask him, can I? Can you put this out in the hallway because we have a huge art gallery in the hallway. He makes me feel like special about my drawings because he thinks I can get someone in life. I dabble in the arts a little bit with Mr. Valerio. He helps me, he helped me with Comic-Con. I like to do a lot of rough, uh, not really detailed, um, in a way detailed sketches, drawings. I like to use a, a lot of primary colors, uh, bright colors. I like to fill them with like, I don't know, happiness. When they said that uh, my coloring skills were were, were great, they, they said that they hadn't seen it before. So I was like, hey, maybe I'm doing something right. Maybe, maybe I finally hit my moment. Now this is where I could go from here and actually take my art seriously. I really think they should put like money into the arts, drama, art, no matter what type of talent it is, like to perform or to draw. I think they should put it in because if we don't have this stuff and we don't, we don't, students don't draw, new artists don't come to life, we're not going to have what we have now. We won't have logos, we won't have media artists, we won't have cartoons, movies, plays, just fashion. Because you need to like design everything. I found such a great passion in drawing everything and if that was just taken away from me, I don't think I'd be able to pursue or continue my art without the help of Mr. Valerio or my choir teacher, Mr. Pepe. I want to become something because of my art. Uh, maybe animator, a graphic designer, uh, uh, maybe uh, work in comic books, do graphic novels, uh, stuff like that. I feel like in the future, I want to pursue this drawing talent of mine <laughs> because just everything that pops up in my head, like it could be in fashion, it could be like a cartoon in the future, it could go like, I want to work for Disney maybe, possibly, I don't know. But I could do either fashion or be a cartoonist when I grow up. It honestly makes me so happy to see that my, my family loves my art, that I could, people ask me to draw them stuff. The responses usually come from family, from friends. Uh, uh, they're people who've been there for me. It's just great having them by my side, just to know that even when I'm not really feeling my art anymore, they push me to keep going forward. My family, of course, supports me, but it is definitely my friends, because I have a lot of artist friends. Um, 
There's a girl named Elena Ringel who's absolutely amazing. He's like he's selling his art out there. Um, there's Arnold Lopez, Madison, all these amazing people, and of course that friend Jessica. If it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't ever have been able to do this. And she's all the way in Arizona, and I don't know if she's ever gonna even see this or even see my face, but thank you so much.